Today on Eagle 7 News, we have footage of Wednesday night's campus fire and details of what may have been the cause. And we talk exclusively with UMAC Men's Golf Player of the Year. I'm Dylan McNeil. And I'm Kara Zondervan. Your campus news starts right now. Wednesday night, just a little bit after 9 p.m., a fire erupted in a student's dorm room of the second floor of the Robertson Student Center. All three floors were quickly evacuated. Large amounts of students watched the event unfold from the parking lots. Multiple fire trucks and police cars were on the scene quickly. The fire was caused by a stovetop. Everyone cleared the building in time, and we are happy to say no one was seriously harmed. Some students commented this was an unexpected study break amidst midterms. Public safety did not issue an all-clear until 10 o'clock. Students were then let back into their rooms. I'm just glad everybody's okay. Yeah. Now, it may be 2018, but the theater department has traveled back to the 1940s for their fall musical. Northwestern Theater and Music Department have been busy preparing for their upcoming musical, the 1940s Radio Hour. This fast-moving 40s-themed musical features swing dancing, classic songs, and a full on-stage jazz band. Due to the large role music plays in the production, the cast has been practicing with the musicians daily. The show debuts right after fall break on October 26. The show starts at 7.30 p.m. in the night performance hall. The show will run for two weeks with four performances each weekend. This week, I talked to the UNW cross country team about running safely. Here's the steps they want you to take that takes runs confidently and safely. UNW's cross country team started in early August and will continue running through early November. Senior Mackenzie Olson shares what the team does to stay safe when running off campus. Running. Some people do it for exercise, some do it to lose their freshman 15. But the UNW cross country team runs for sport, and what Olson says is to glorify God. From running on sidewalks to trails, from indoors to outdoors, runners always need safety to be a priority. Okay. Running for up to 60 minutes at a time, with recent abductions happening to runners across the country, these athletes have to be aware of their surroundings. The team runs in groups, which is safer than running alone. The coaches also know where these athletes are running, just in case anything should happen. Olsen tells us why she feels safe running off campus, in spite of recent events. Our coaches know our paths, like where we're going, so if we're not back by a certain time, like there's that element of worry that, like, oh, what's going on? So. Um, I think all of us are kind of aware of it, but I think a big aspect too is because we practice as a team and we're together. Roseville Chief of Police Rick Mathwig shared a few tips to help students when they're running off campus. He said to always check your surroundings, always carry a cell phone just in case something suspicious is happening, and to not run at the same time every day, even to vary a half hour from day to day. For Eagle 7 News, I'm Dylan McNeil. Whether it's running to a nearby park or running across Snelling, safety is the top priority. The team always runs together and is mindful of their surroundings while watching out for each other. Chase, over to you for sports. Thanks, Dylan. As the leaves continue to fall and the weather becomes cooler, one Eagles team is rounding out the season in top form. Our sports director, Ryan Mitchell, has more. The Northwestern men's golf team has one competition remaining and they are confident in their ability to finish strong. Overall, we've all been playing well. We all know that we can go low, and uh, you know, it's just picking the right shot and you know, playing the right shot at the right time. The Eagles have become a tight-knit group over the years. We pick each other up when we're uh, down, and uh, when we're up, we kind of push each other to play our best. Experience is a highly valued asset, and UNW has it. We know the golf course well. We got to know the greens really good. And I think that just builds confidence as you get to know the golf course. Being down there for the third time this year, uh, it's just a really good advantage for us making the cut last year. We all know the holes, we all know how to play them, and uh, it's just going down there and doing our thing and playing well. For Northwestern, the game plan is short and simple. If you can putt well, keep it under 30 putts, you know, I think we'll, we'll be fine down there. As the season comes to a close, Mike and Titus look forward to their final chapter. It's kind of bittersweet, you know, like, Three of us are all seniors and this is our last run, our last go around, so it'll be fun to enjoy it and I think that's what we're going to do, just enjoy it, have fun and play our best. Yeah, just trying to cherish it and uh, just taking the last couple of moments with my teammates and uh, you know, just trying to go out with a bang and have fun down there. The NCCAA championships begin on Monday in Palm Coast, Florida. Fans can head to UNWEagles.com to see how the team does. For Eagle 7 News, I'm Ryan Mitchell. 
Thanks, Ryan. There's plenty of Northwestern athletics taking place on campus this weekend. Men's and women's soccer host Martin Luther at 1 and 3.30 tomorrow. Volleyball takes on North Central tonight at 7. And the Eagles football squad goes for back-to-back -back wins in their matchup tonight with Martin Luther under the lights at Reynolds Field. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. and you can listen to live play-by-play -play action on the remnant.fm or watch the live stream on unweagles.com. That's all we have this week for sports. Joel, does it look like we'll see some sun for the soccer games tomorrow? Unfortunately, no. We move on to the weather and it's about 41 degrees on Saturday, which is going to give us a cloudy and unfortunately colder day on Saturday. But then Sunday, don't worry, we move back up to 53 and a little, little sunnier, which is going to be good, which is going to be fun. On Monday and Tuesday, we have a partly cloudy from upper 40s to mid 50s. Don't worry, your weekend will not be spoiled by rain this time. Uh, back over to you guys. Thanks, Joel. Quad One is coming to an end, and students have been studying for exams and working on projects. Here's what students were doing to prepare. I have a 20-hour project I have to do and two exams. I have a final project and four exams. Probably study for like four hours <laughs> for my exams. The only major test I have is really a finance test. So right now I'm just going through old homework and just studying for it. Uh, I'll probably study another like four hours tonight and then I take it tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. Um, this week I have a large take home final for Christianity and culture. And then I have another in class final on Friday. So it's challenging, but you learn so much and you grow from it. As Leah put it, some students believe the hard work is paying off. So Kara, long weekend, do you have any fun plans? I'm going to be working on a bunch of papers. What about you? Well, I'm going to take a more relaxation route and uh, just hang out with the family. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, for Eagle 7 News, I'm Kara Zondervan. And I'm Dylan McNeil. Stay fly, Eagles.